Hi, this is Sabrin from FU for All, and today I'll show you how to create uh, this beautiful brick meshing for a valve stem in just a few steps. It's actually very easy to do, so the video will be very short, but it may be also very useful for some of you who don't have the experience to create such kind of mesh. So the first thing I did is that I imported a, a solid model of a valve stem, so which looks like that. And I did a few operations that I will not show you uh, to extract the contour of uh, these valve stems. So it's very easy, I just cut it in two and then I extracted the edges in order to get uh, the contour. So once you get that, you can either create a surface or you can directly uh, mesh the contour using the 2D meshing and you have something called auto area. So I'm, I'm using a software called Midas NFX, but you could use uh, all the FEA softwares as well. This shouldn't be a problem. And now what I will do is I will mesh in two dimension this uh, area with a size of one millimeter. Uh, so you see it's quite small uh, for the seed. And now I get a 2D meshing like that. So let me just do a zoom to show you. And you see that the contour is, uh, looks very nice. So now the only thing I have to do to get my uh, 3D uh, mesh is to revolve this uh, 2D mesh into 3D. And you have a function called revolve in this software. So uh, maybe in other software it's called uh, something else, but but it should be pretty similar. Uh, I will delete the source mesh because I will not need it anymore. I'm just selecting the rotation axis. And the only thing I'll do is to give it a rotation of angle of 360 degree because I will rotate everything and the number of divisions. So I, I can uh, give 36 division at the beginning, do a preview. And if I got to be closer, I see that it's a bit uh, I can do better than that, so I will give it 72 divisions. Looks uh, way better. Now I click on OK, and you see I get something really, really smooth and nice. And uh, if you oppose this kind of meshing to, uh, to a 3D tetra meshing, you will get much more elements, uh, and it will be also uh, ex not exactly the same kind of result. So here you, you get something really nice. So I got like 68,000 uh, nodes and 67,000 elements. So just for the fun, let's uh, hide that and let's try to mesh the solid model using 3D element, uh, let's say first order element with the, exactly the same size. And let's auto mesh domain and now you see that we get something which is uh, which has much more elements so it has less nodes it has much more elements it's at 140 thousand elements and if I look closer at that it's far less uh, smooth as the other you see on this part here the mesh seems a bit uh, not as smooth and I'm sure I will, I will get not uh, the same results as the other one, this one. So if uh, you have the possibility to use this kind of revolve function to create uh, such nice brick meshing for your model, don't hesitate to use it. You will really get the best results and accuracy uh, on your model using such kind of function. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you next time in the next tutorial. You can also come and visit my blog fefall.com where you will find a lot more interesting articles all about FEA.